well this might be a bit confusing sorry I've got my purple crafting mat out I've got the Mac as well it's going to be confusing isn't it I've not made a mistake I just wanted to come back to these legs I mean I made these legs in a video a few months ago and I always had a plan for them but my plan was to just put something else on top of it some scratch buildy stuff but the other day I was playing about with them and I thought you know why don't I continue with this mech why don't I somehow move up and do a body so I just thought I'd spend a bit of time today just showing you what my process is for making objects really making boxes on the laser cutter but of course the templates for these you could use as well I just thought you might find this interesting so there's my mech and what I want to do is to start with just do a simple box that goes between them now quite a few of you probably on other videos you've seen people got one of these you don't have to have one of these but it does make things a little bit easier especially if you're rubbish at me at reading numbers off things like that and not knowing exactly it's much easier on this to get an exact amount i'm doing millimeters which i can then put into a, another program so I'm trying to work out how far i want these apart and maybe i'm thinking about a box that's about 30 millimeters and what i need it to do is to go around these properly or somehow so they're at least 23 what i want to do is put one of those on every side so they're at least 23 millimeters so if i go a little bit bigger and take it about 33 because i've got to allow for the thickness if i'm making a box the thickness of those as well and if i go it so that it's right against that um some of the lines on that might cut through the lines on the box so I'll go a little bit bigger so I think I'll go if I went 33 then there's enough internal room to put one of those circles on it let me show you about how I make a box to start I use this website called make a case and if you give it the dimensions it can create boxes for you I'm actually not going to use one of these boxes because there's an older version of make a case that you can get if you just click on one you can look at it there and I don't know why but I just prefer the older version so there's the little box that I've got I'm going to change that to millimeters because that's what I'm measuring in so box width is going to be 33 and let's just set all of them the same at the moment 33 33 and 33 which will give me a box that looks well like a box uh, you can't really tell the scale of that but you can set the inside or the outside dimensions so if you've got something that you wanted to build a box for like that and you wanted it to fit exactly you can measure that and have that as the inside dimension but what i'm doing on this the important bit is the outside dimension because i want the distance that these are apart so uh, i'm going to set mine to the outside my board is three millimeters so that's the same and then the clever bit is this finger whoop so when you do that you get um, these little crenellations are they called the little finger joints that come in to uh, seal the box together and makes it look very laser cut of course you don't have to do that you can just create it like that but then it's harder to keep the box square so once i've got the size that i want i can just do generate laser cutter case plans so you see what it's done there it's just created all the sides and the cutting now there's various bits that you can do on that on here but i don't bother because i'm going to load this into something else so if i do download plans it will just download it as an sgv file it always calls it case so uh, as you see i've got quite a lot of case plans this is case plan number six so now i've got that i go to inkscape so here i am in inkscape i'm not really going to do it on here but i'll just show you what i do next uh, so i normally go open and you have to select here not a inkscape file but you actually have to select an svg and i'll go to my downloads okay so that's uh, got it in a quite a small little document i try not to import it directly into the other inkscape document i would prefer to cut and paste but before I do that, because I'm going to cut these out, what I want to do, let's make this full screen. Um, so what I want to do is just select all of these. So I can do Control A on that or Apple A on my machine. So I've got them selected. I've find the red there and I shift click and it sets the stroke of that to red. 
And then the program that I use, which is called K40 Whisperer, it will cut everything that's in red. So now I've got those boxes, I can just copy, I'll select it all again, copy it again, and let's go back to the other Mac legs, and then I can paste it into the document there. So if you see, if I move that down to there, I might, if I move things about, just be able to fit that in um, there. So I could add that as this, then I suppose it would be like his bottom torso or his bottom that I'm doing in this, wouldn't it? Because with those boxes as well, what happens if I want to put one of these, um, these objects on it? Well, that's easy enough. So if I select one of those and duplicate it, and then I can drop it down on there. I tend to group all these together once I've got the cut correctly. So, uh, and I'll also do an align to make it middle. But there you see that now has done a box, which I could have either an engraving of, of this on it, or I could actually cut that bit out of it and use that for something else. So what I really want to do is have a box that I can have some holes in that I can put these, these in as sockets like that. So I've shown you the process to make a box. But I've actually made one that's I've actually made this and I've made some arms as well or beginning to play with it. So I've got those on a different file. So let's just open that. So here's my file ready to cut on the laser cutter. Made this slightly different. I've not made them exactly 33 on each side. There was a little bit of a reason for that just to get this looking right. And but it just shows you that you can on the case do lots of different sizes. And then I've done some blank plates here as well, which uh, I'm going to use for something else afterwards. They've just got the engraving on because the engraving bits blue. So anyway, I'm going to cut some of these out. In fact, I'm not even going to cut this one out because I've already cut these out, uh, but I've got some extra bits. So I'm going to cut these out instead. Let's cut those out. Don't panic, I've not switched to a PC, I'm still on my Mac. Well, actually, I've got a PC that runs my laser um, cutter. So um, this is the screen off that. I've opened K40 Whisperer and I have loaded in that file uh, that I just showed you straight out of Inkscape. So I'll start the laser cutter off in a second. But what I have to do first, I do initialize laser cutter. And on my laser cutter, I actually just... Uh, jog in slightly by 10 millimeters each side and that just aligns it up with some things I've put on the inside of the laser cutter to always get it in the same position when I'm cutting things. And then the first thing I'll do is the engrave. No point in doing the cut first because the pieces might fall out. I'll click turn the laser on and I'll click that and I'll show you a little bit of it cutting. You'll also definitely note when I turn the laser cutter on because it makes this noise. Do you see what I mean about noisy? Anyway, that's them done. Uh, I always also save these little pieces as well that fall out some of the inset pieces because they're interesting shapes. They might be useful for something. But uh, here now is my set of sides and you see I've engraved some so that it makes holes and others that are just engraved and not cut. So I think the best way of sticking these together is to do something like there you go. All right. So yeah, just stuck together with tacky glue and uh oh, just stuck together with tacky glue there, which is PVA glue really. I like the tacky glue because it has a real thin little dispenser. So I'll go along each of the crenellations and stick it together. So there's my little box. Now you should see why I've done these circles, because if I put them together like so, it fits there and it becomes the base of my mech legs. 
Oh yeah, why did I do these pieces? Well the reason I did these pieces is because I don't always like these crenellations so these will fit over the box like so with a little overhang and they're all slightly different sizes so that if I stick them like that it hides some of the laser artifacts of those finger joints so it means I've got a little bit more versatility in them. Well, I'll tell you something else I noticed as well look this little piece almost becomes a little logo for the mech. So just thought you'd enjoy that as part of my process. Another little thing which was accidental, these aren't exactly circular, they're slightly oval, but because of that it means that if I twist when it's in the socket it locks them in. A little bit of a happy coincidence there. But yeah, so that's the beginning of my mech that I'm making with my mech legs template. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not doing. And all I've got to say apart from that is, okay, bye.